Hello guys, welcome back to my workshop. Today is a jolly good day indeed because I'm going to be testing a new piece of kit that I've got. I made a cute as hell table for this bad boy recently and that bit of kit is a CNC machine. And I'm going to be making some very common guitar making jigs. Uh, backtrack here. What is a jig? Yeah, not that one. There it is. Well, technically I'm going to make a couple of templates, but in my book a jig more or less is something that facilitates the making of something else. I'm going to start with a headstock template, which I've designed on Adobe Illustrator. This will allow me to get a much cleaner and consistent result when I'm routing those headstock shapes out. And then I'm going to try my hand at a mortise and tenon routing template. This is all brand new to me, so we can learn together and I'm really excited. But first I'll take through the specs of the machine so you can see what we're working with. So this is a machine made by a Belgian brand called Mechanica. I've got the, the Evo M, the medium sized model, and the working area is 630 by 1030 mil. So it's, it's big enough for guitar making, for sure. I'm not gonna be doing any furniture on it, so I could do some furniture on it. No, Daisy. You know, I approached a friend of mine who knew a lot about CNCing, who knows a lot about CNCing, he's not dead. And he kindly took a look at the specs for me because I wanted to have some unbiased knowledge on my side. And what he said was that everything was actually of a really high standard and he was quite surprised by that because he hadn't heard of the brand Mechanica. I think they're quite small. But yeah, he kind of gave me the okay and said it'd be really interesting to give them a go. The thing that I was looking for when I was looking for a CNC was customer service because as we know, I am not the brightest bulb in the bushel. Especially when it comes to learning the language of CNC and CAM, which is really quite challenging if you haven't come across it before. I think it's the kind of thing that once you're going, it, it all starts to slot into place and then you can get really advanced with it. But ultimately it is a learning curve for anybody, especially when you've been working with your hands and very hands-on, this is, this is a new type of making. But I really want to get started with a headstock template. So let's go. What I'm performing here is the basic calibration stuff you have to do when you turn the machine on, setting it to home, squaring the gantry, and setting the height of the bit. My personal favorite, using the probe to measure the top or the distance of the drill bit from the spoiler board. So we clip that little crocodile friend on there, and then we hit a button. And then when it touches that steel. Yay. Because I'm learning, I'm gonna use plywood, but I will eventually cut these jigs in acrylic, just FYI. That is of course because acrylic is see-through, so you can map and align the center lines on the jig and the workpiece much more easily. Now it's time to load the G-code onto the Planet CNC. The way I'm gonna do that is with this bad boy here. It's always quite a nerve wracking thing putting a new G code in when you're a beginner because you might have done something wrong with either the computer aided design or with the computer aided manufacturing and there are two parts that can go wrong so I for example here have got the placing kind of wrong which I would imagine is to do with the design so when I first loaded the file into the axis perhaps I didn't set it to zero quite right but we got lucky here and it looks like it's in a good enough place so what I'm going to do is just stop it and put the dust shoe on so that we haven't got any of that horrible dust and keep going baby. protective tab support. Next, I really need a mortise and tenon routing template for the joints from the body to the neck. So I'm gonna design that quickly on Adobe Illustrator. And this literally took me start to finish like 10 minutes from like mocking up the design on Illustrator to cutting it out on the machine, 10 minutes, which is awesome because I've made one of these by hand before and it took ages. So this is great. Also, just saying like, 
throughout this entire clip I've got Martin from Mechanica because he does like a YouTube series on how to operate this machine. I've got <laughs> Martin in my head just talking in French. So he's like, you need to remember to uh, remove the lead in, <laughs> but keep the ramp. We need that. <laughs> it's actually a really good way of helping me remember. <laughs> I'm really sorry, Martin, if you're watching this. <laughs> If you enjoyed this video guys i've put all the links in the bio if you want to take a look at anything that i've mentioned in this video hope you've learned something i can't wait to extend the journey of this machine with you guys on on youtube and maybe this time next year i'll be making all sorts of stuff with complex radiuses and that kind of thing i think it's just something that i'm gonna really enjoy doing catch you next time thanks for liking subscribing doing all of that i really appreciate you and I'll see you soon.